Welcome to Emilio's Pinhouse. It's still November, but it's like Christmas morning here. My friend Erica of Erica's Enchanted Disney and I were doing a, a Christmas exchange package. It was her idea. She came up with it. It was uh, the letters of the word Christmas as prompts and each letter stood for something. And she had some with, uh, some letters were blank, so I helped fill them in, and we agreed on it. And uh, we never agreed on a date or anything, but next thing I knew is she was ready to send hers, and it's November. And I said, great, I'll hold on to it until December. She said, no, you have to open it. And I said, really? I have most of everything of hers put together. I just have to pack it and send it. But I was kind of holding off until December. But she was really excited. She was just um, very uh, eager to have me open everything. She couldn't. She's the one who couldn't wait to open it, to have me open it. And it got here, and I'm speechless. I still don't know what to say. I can't thank her enough for what she did. What she not just what she put in, not just the stuff I got, but I could see the time and effort and work and excitement. I could see it. It's in everything. And um, there's a lot to it. And I just want to share it with you. Uh, it was okay with her for me to share it with you. The opening, uh, it's already open. So you guys won't get to see that. But I just want to quickly run through everything. And I'll actually um, share the prompts with you so you can look at them in the description. And feel free to do it. Feel free to... Uh, Pick whoever you want and make an exchange, a Christmas exchange of pins or anything else. Uh, but the prompts were really cool. They included Halloween in the H of Christmas. So I was really excited about it. I'm not that much of a Christmas person the older I get. The older I get, the more childish I get about Halloween. But um, this year, I'm feeling very, very happily childish about Christmas. So thank you, Erica. I've, I've already told her, but I, I won't be able to say it enough. Thank you, Erica, for such a wonderful gift. And it's actually not over, and I'll tell you why in, in just a few minutes. Um, but the first letter, C, uh, was for candy or anything sweet. And there's actually a lot of that. There's candy here candy here this looks like a really cool Halloween gift bag candy loose in the box candy in a really cool Halloween cup with a great set of cats on it I was sitting there staring at this like a little kid who's never seen anything like this before but this is a really cool cup and he's there and smiling my wife and I had a few pieces out of here and had one of these already and eager to dig in dig into the next one there was a lot of Mickey can <clears throat> excuse me Mickey confetti made out of wrapping paper everything was nicely wrapped beautifully done she had really nice gift tags for each letter. Um, I tore into it, and I've tore into it a couple times, and looked at everything, and just sitting there staring at everything. I I need to process it. It's uh, it was overwhelmingly uh, beautiful and fun. But let's uh, let's start with. Uh, C, I digress, but let's go back and look at C. We have candy, and there's a lot of it in here. H was Halloween, which I added. And aside from this really awesome cup, there it is. Where's my... There we go. It, it's crazy here. I wasn't expecting. I was expecting a lot of fun, a lot of magic, it, but it still hit me like I wasn't prepared for it. 
So it's a little crazy in here. There's an awesome Donald Duck with a scary pumpkin. Chip and Dale are decorating it. Happy Halloween 2021 limited edition pin. It's big and beautiful. I bought one from this set uh, from somebody else in the Disney Kitty pin group. And then Erica sent me this. R was really cute Christmas pin. And Erica sends. Still shaking my head at this. Still shaking my head at the whole thing, but the hitchhiking ghosts outside a gingerbread haunted house or haunted mansion, sorry. On the naughty list, that's me. That's that's truly me. I is for icon, anything you find iconic. And I kind of um, sent her a message. This could be anything. It could be pins, toys, whatever you want it to be. We're, of course, pin collectors. That's how we met and that's how we're friends. And therefore, I got another pin. And there's someone who, I mean, both of these are icons. As in, their faces are easily recognizable, used in a lot of places. Oogie Boogie, Jack, Haunted Mansion Holiday 2021, another limited edition pin. So far, one, two, three. I got stuff that I thought was good, but... I'm not going to be able to top this. This is really cool. I love this Jack. I love the Oogie Boogie with a Santa hat. Kind of a Grinch looking Oogie Boogie, which is just perfect. And for anyone who doesn't know, I've never been there, but for anyone who doesn't know, the Haunted Mansion uh, does Haunted Mansion Holiday right after Halloween. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas takes over the Haunted Mansion. And I've seen videos of it. It's really amazing and someday we'll get over and see that um, the first S was uh, more sweets it was sweets so whatever you wanted to include candy baked goods whatever she actually turned it into she changed it on me she turned it into something special from me to you which was one a brilliant and, and beautiful idea and okay this was sent before the rest of this entire package so this is the S that she created something special for me to you and it is an advent calendar there's 25 boxes 24 house shaped ones and then one bigger one. I am being good. I'm not touching it. And that starts on the 1st of December. I'll share that uh, one a day. I'll make one little video a day for each of those and share with everybody what, what's in each box. But that's the first S. He was something that I made up. It was either toy related or toy story related. And it can be in pin form, a toy form, or anything if it's toy or toy story related. Because I love toy story. And I knew it was going to have something to do with toy story. It's not going to be just a random toy, of course. Uh, and we will get back to that. Skipping over to M. Actually, let's do this for a second. There we go. 
a really, oh no, a really brilliant ornament. There it is. Mickey, just laying, dreaming. I'm in awe at this, at this thing. Next, air, anything air related. And she is pretty clever. I got a pin of Jack and a jack-o'-lantern hot air balloon. That is a really cool pin. And just now noticing the uh, bottom is a gift box with a bow. Now I have something to confess to Erica. Of everything you got me, this is something that I had. However, I needed more because I need one to go on a nightmare collection and one to go in a Halloween collection. So either way, this is perfect. And it's such a beautiful pin and I'm glad to be showing it off. But I do have to confess that one. Everything else I uh, didn't have, didn't really know about. I've never really seen these, for instance. But this, again, another really nice addition to my pin collection. Something I actually really needed. Next, Erica's son Patrick has been excited about this as well, and uh, he's been looking forward for, to me getting this. And this is something from him and Erica. Some extra pins, just zaps. They threw a zap pin in a Christmas package that's already full of magic and wonder, but I still got extra stuff. Again, I'm just speechless, don't know what to say. And of course, those things already have a home that's waiting for them. This is one of those uh, surfboard pins that, in the case of this, the Buzz Lightyear one actually looks like a rocket. So it's something that I've been wanting for a long time, haven't gotten, and, and now I got it. Next, as part of the sweets, which she did throw in a tag. She did throw in a tag with S and just extra sweets. And like I said, there's plenty of candy in all this, but here's something, again, it's, it's a bit extra. It's, it's uh, I'm really excited. I can't wait to have this. I'm not gonna touch it until December. Uh, and I'm gonna have, this is magical, so I have to share it. I was gonna just hoard it and and sit in the closet and have it and not tell you, any, anybody, but I'm gonna have to uh, share that Christmas cocoa popcorn and all over the bag, I can see little marshmallows along with the popcorn. And what a great uh, little drawing of Mickey enjoying a, a cup of hot chocolate. Pretty nice bag and very, very happy to have it. Now, in this box, as I opened stuff up, there was a big thing that I intentionally let sit. I didn't realize what letter it was. I wasn't paying attention. I was uh, out of letter order, C-H-R-I-S-T-M-A-S, and the this really big thing was in the box kept staring at it and I knew I was gonna save it for last for something Toy Story T for something Toy Story themed I grabbed it it felt like a stuffed animal it, it is not a stuffed animal there was bubble wrap around it it was something I wasn't prepared for because I didn't know this uh, this exists. I had no clue. Never seen it. Wouldn't have imagined it. When I opened it, my stomach just uh, butterflies all over, goosebumps, everything. She 
she stood in line for I don't know how long to get me this beautiful, wonderful, just, oh, I'm back to speechless. It's a popcorn bucket. It's a popcorn bucket of a Christmas tree made out of toy blocks with Buzz and Woody on it. And Buzz is decorating the top of the tree with a star. That's also the Luxo ball from Pixar. This is crazy. This is, it's too much. I was walking around the house with it like it was a trophy, like I just came back from some kind of a contest. Sat and watched TV with it on my lap for a little while. The lanyard, let's take a look at the lanyard. Happy Holidays, and it's got the Green Army Men on it. Christmas lights, and of course more of the toy letter blocks. The ball lights up. There's Woody. Buzz happily decorating the tree. I can't believe I'm staring at this. It's a wonderful, magical gift. And then after I was done with being completely giddy about it, I realized there was still another package I had picked up and then set aside. And it was just buried under wrapping paper, but it was the last S, which is for Stitch, which is one of a, one of Erica's favorite uh, creatures of all time, let alone Disney characters, I think. It was a bigger package, and in it are Stitch and Angel. Or no, it's Stitch and Stitch. <laughs> um, um, my brain's just turning to mush. Uh, Stitch crashes Disney. This is Snow White. And Sleeping Beauty. And... I am going to just find a way to keep all this stuff together on a shelf somewhere and just go back and stare at it every so often. And and this, this gift is really not done giving because, as I said, up there is a box with 25 more gifts in it. There, I, I said to her, please tell me that's not all pins because my mind wouldn't be able to handle that. And she said, no, it's a lot of treats and such. But either way, uh, this is already too much, more than I deserve. Um, I hope what I got makes her feel half as good as this makes me feel. But there it is. Like I said, this is all, all this mess is me opening all of this stuff up. And there's more, more paper on the floor. Big wrapper from the popcorn bucket. And it was all packed well. It was all uh, carefully packaged. Carefully packed for shipping. Erica, Patrick, you guys have really, really made me uh, feel great, excited, and um, can't thank you enough. And I will try to, I'll, I'll do my best to, to try to thank you as much as I can. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll be enough. But um, that is it for now. This is a lot, of course. 
can't really say that is it, but that's all for now. And as always, thank you for sticking around and listening to me go on and on and everyone have a good night.